Hi there, welcome to Inside FM Wrestling. I'm Brad Weltman here for GoDiplomats.com, and joining me as always is Franklin Marshall head wrestling coach Mike Rogers. Mike, thanks for taking the time to sit down with us here today. Thank you. Uh, so you guys had a busy week last week. Um, let's start off with Sacred Heart on Friday. It was a uh, d- duel at home. Um, you guys really dominated. It was 43 to nothing. Uh, first shutout uh, for the program since 2006. Um, so really, when you have results like that, I mean, it has to be just a complete effort from top, bottom for your lineup. Yeah, that was, um, I, like I said before, I, I think on paper we were um, probably the stronger team. But like I said, you always have to wrestle it. You know, <laughs> uh, you don't wrestle those matches on paper. But uh, I think it was the first time I've seen our guys wrestle uh, from top to bottom um, consistently from 125 all the way up to heavyweight. And it just goes to show you once you start getting momentum going into the upper weights, uh, it kind of carries itself through. Um, I think the guys went out there, you know, winning 25 and then and going out at 33 and getting the fall, then 41 and 49. And what happens is I think the guys start feeling like, I don't want to be the guy dropping the ball, you know. So they go out there and wrestle at another level because the guy perform them. Guy, uh, and we, t- we say this all the time is when you're out there wrestling, you wrestle for the guy that's coming up behind you. So whether you're losing – and you're you're fighting to come back and winning that match, or just putting a good performance so that your teammate that's walking out there behind you sees that you're finishing strong, regardless of the score. Um, it does a lot for their motivation. And I think they really took that to heart. And whether we were winning and try to build on that lead, or um, if we were kind of caught in a, you know, uh, we always wanted to finish the period in each each uh, each match strong. And I think we did that. And I think it showed, you know, carrying that momentum going into our upper weights um, that we've kind of been up and down. You know, 65, 74, 84. And like I said heavyweight has kind of been an up and down roller coaster for us. And um, I think how the lighter weight started off. Carried in the upper weights and got us uh, got the ball rolling and uh, yeah it was a great a great performance to see the guys you know shut a team out we weren't really thinking that way but um and it just goes to show you like you if you do the things you know how to do and you you put them consistently uh, good things happen and that's I think that's what ended up, what happened that night it was a great uh, great night for us yeah and then it looks like you guys kept the momentum going into Saturday uh, where you traveled to Millersville for the mid pen duels you guys won three straight including a twenty two nineteen win over shorter in the championship. Um, so just talk a little bit about your team's performance on Saturday. Um, yeah, the guys carried that, you know, Friday's night's performance into Saturday. Um, started off with, a, you know, a strong York team that beat us last year. And the guys did a great job of, again, I think we we'd all, got on the momentum early and going from 25, 33, all the way up, you know, um, going into the upper weights. Um, it was, it, again, they just, uh, I think, uh, the only thing different, I think, from last year, this year is confidence. And they're just wrestling a little bit harder, a little bit stronger, um, not conceding any positions. Um, if they do make a mistake, uh, it was, again, another example of seeing those guys uh, not get down on themselves. You know, you don't, we, we talked about this again. We, we don't have to be perfect. Um, you just have to win one more scramble than they do. And that's what we're doing. We're just out hustling them a little bit. And, and again, our momentum, I think, from the lighter weights carried into upper weights and, and um, was a nice, uh, nice start off with the first dual meet. And then... Uh, going into our second duel meet against Shippensburg, a little bit stronger team. Um, and I think what really happened was our 2025 pounder, Jason Bing, really set the match off for us because he got behind early and he kept fighting and scrapping his way back and um, got injured halfway through the match and kind of tweaked his knee a little bit but got back on it and uh, ended up winning the, you know, winning the match towards the end um, out of just two really impressive scrambles um, going back and forth. And he – didn't stop wrestling and came on top of those two scrambles. And that, again, I think that carried into 33 and 41 um, going on up through the, the lineup. And, uh, again, another solid performance for all those guys. And it was the first time I've seen guys really wrestling for the team, going for bonus points when they could, um, not just being happy with the win, you know, trying to give the guy behind them maybe a little, of a, little bit of a cushion if they do take make a mistake, and which happened at 149. Sharon was winning, ended up uh, getting too high with legs, getting caught and pinned. Um, uh, but because of the um, performances from the other teammates, it wasn't um, the deciding factor. We ended up being able to absorb someone making a mistake and coming back through and still winning the dual meet. And then, then going into Shorter, Shorter was real impressive. I mean, they're, they're a strong team. They're a Division two team, but are just now getting their NCA, um, you know, uh, that probational period. And um, we, it was a fight. We came out there, and uh, I think uh, our guys weren't um, – maybe looking past them a little bit. And, uh, again, 25, we kind of got caught on our heels and, and lost that 25-pound match. But 
you know, uh, 133 got us back on track, and, you know, Rick did a great job coming back through. But that really, that whole match, I think, where it really sealed the deal was a great performance by um, uh, Chuck Kessner, our 197-pounder. Um, he kind of put it out of reach for him. He went out there um, after losing 65, um, 74, 84, um, getting pinned at 84, which was kind of, we kind of got caught and pinned. Uh, Chuck, he needed to um, get a major to stretch the match out, um, you know, past uh, um, uh, shoulders ability to get it so uh, Chucky went out there and just uh, outworked the kid and just uh, took uh, I think at least like 15 20 shots and um, really wore the kid out and, and got the major for us and then Alex came out and did a great job he wrestled a little bit conservatively just for the team I couldn't make any big mistakes um, and uh, you know and then went after it towards the end but again another great performance it was a, a great job for our guys kind of half new um you know, fight back out of, you know, getting behind in the count a little bit. And they started getting, you know, we got the momentum lightweights. Shoulder got some momentum going into like 65, 74, 84. Then we had to get it back with 97. And it was a great job with, uh, with Chuck doing that for us. Um, so uh, just a great two days of wrestling for, for our, our team, you know, for dual meets. Uh, it was great to see all our fans there, see the team kind of coming after that break. And we were, were off the week before and seeing, you know, really four good dual meets that we performed well at. And then the next day on Sunday, we had a couple guys wrestle in the uh, Shorty Hitchcock uh, Millersville Open. Um, and then uh, Echo did a great job for us. He, uh, he won a couple matches there. We didn't put a whole – I think we only had three guys there, so we didn't do a whole lot. We didn't send a lot of guys after the Friday and Saturday. It was a lot of wrestling. So the guys didn't get a lot of time on those two days wrestled um, on Saturday – or on Sunday. Um, so – and Echo uh, won a few matches for us, and um, he's been doing a great job for us. He's one of those kids that came out of a, you know, a relatively unknown program and really, really didn't have a whole lot of um, skill level, uh, but a lot of heart. And he's starting to win matches just out of – he's being very coachable. And, and all those guys, and Tommy Quinlan and, and um, all those guys are just being really coachable and, and, and Brandon Giovanetti, all those guys are just there if we need them. Um, and that, that's a great part of a, a team um, effort that we haven't seen in a long time, that the guys are willing to step in and, and back guys up or move around or go up, maybe down a weight class, uh, whatever we need for the team um, to be successful. And that's – that's a that's a sign of a program starting to come together. I think starting to mature a little bit when when the guys um, aren't just wrestling from themselves. They're willing to make adjustments, go to extra tournaments, do whatever they need to do um, for the team to be successful. And then this upcoming weekend, you've got another busy one ahead of you. Uh, you travel to Virginia on Saturday uh, to compete against George Mason uh, in a dual meet, and then. Uh, Sunday, uh, you head to North Carolina uh, to take on the Citadel and Davidson. Um, so, what are you expecting out of your team in those matchups? Um, I think it's the same thing. We're just—I mean, those are three teams that are going to be very competitive. Uh, we're, um, that we're going to be in the mix with. I think it's going to be one of those things. It's going to be a lot of tight, close matches, a couple points either way. So, um, if we. If we, what we're looking for as a coaching staff is just performance, and we, we preach this all the time. Uh, the wins are great, and it helps with the program. It helps with, um, you know, the morale a little bit. But ultimately, we just want to see our guys perform and learn and progress. And as long as we're doing the things that we're made the adjustments, we went over a lot of film with the stuff, the mistakes that we made last weekend, plus, you know, what we're going to see this weekend. And as long as we're making adjustments and making improvements, you know, we're happy. Um, uh, you know, with, with the end result, whatever that might be. It's when they hold back, they're maybe they're um, wrestling not to lose, um, then we have a problem. But if we go out there and wrestle aggressively and do the things that we've been teaching them to do and the guys have been working on doing, I think we're going to do just fine. I think, George, but it's going to be a test. You're going to be on the road. They got to go down to, uh, you know, George Mason, wrestle a very competitive, tough team, and then jump right on the bus and head down south to, to Davison and uh, get up the next morning and, and wrestle uh, two matches uh, the next morning. And, um, you know, it's only three dual meets, but it's a lot of travel, and that takes a lot out of you. And, and but I, I, my hope is that we prepared the guys enough, that we've done enough road travel that um, it's not nothing, it's not new. It's not something that they're um, not adjusted to. Uh, but so is that element. When you're on the road, you can't control a lot of variables. You know, where you work out, your hotel, getting up, driving in and off a bus. Um, it, it, has, it has a little bit of effect, um, especially on younger kids. You know, your freshmen, your sophomores that haven't maybe done a, a, a road trip like that and travel like that. But I really think our guys are going to be prepared for it. They're, they're ready. Um, I think we're pretty healthy overall as a team. Um, the guys we put out there are, you know, as rested as they can be and prepared. Our conditioning, I think, is really good right now. So we just got to use those things to our advantage.
Well, best of luck this weekend, and thanks for taking the time to sit down with us here today. Uh, thank you. And be sure to like FNM Wrestling on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, and subscribe to the Go Diplomats YouTube page.